Well, hello and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to do the second installment to the first video that I made on how to use LMMS. Uh, I'm going to make an attempt to teach you a little bit about uh, the piano roll in the uh, LMMS program, uh, teach you a little bit about uh, notes, uh, scales, chord, and chord progression. Uh, again, I'm not an expert in, in this subject, but I hope that the little bit that I do know will help you out on making beats. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I do is I open up um, an instrument and I go here into instrument plugin. Uh, and we're going to use everything that's already built in with LMMS. I'm not going to bring in nothing, uh, you know, from the outside, any kind of different BSP, uh, just to make this a little bit easier. So you grab the synth as sub, you carry it over, left click, and drag and drop. So I'm gonna let's open it up. You click on Synth Add Sub, then click on GUI, Instrument, Show Instrument Bank, click on the little arrow down, click on Synth Piano, click on Soft Piano, close it up, and now we have a piano. Now we need to open up the piano roll. To do that, you go on the little black uh, rectangle here, you double click it, hit the left uh, mouse button, and it opens up the piano roll. Now to get started, let me talk to you a little bit about the piano roll. When you look at the piano roll, you know, if you're new to uh, making beats or doing music or whatever you want to call it, look up and down, you say, oh my goodness, there is a lot of notes. I don't even know where am I going to start. You know what? Don't be scared. In reality, we're only going to use seven notes. We're only going to use the white keys just to make it easier for you guys. You're not going to be too concerned with the sharps and the flats, which are the black keys. We're just going to be concerned with the white keys. So to get started, when you look at these, uh, they, uh, the piano roll has the C note already on there. And if you go up and down the piano roll, every C note is a different octave. An octave just means that it's a higher note or lower note if you're going down the piano roll. So starting with the C, we're going to move up. It'll be C, D, E, F, G. Then it starts again with the A and the B. So to choose uh, a scale, it's very simple here with uh, LMMS. You go to the area here where it says no scale. You click on the arrow. Now you click on major, and we're going to do the C major scale because it's all white notes. So you go over the C, you right click, and it gives you this, mark on mark current semitones and mark current scale. So we're going to do that. Guess what? We have all the white notes marked up and down the piano roll, and this is the C major scale. Now, let's make the C major scale. So we start here on C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. Now we have the C major scale. Now from this same scale, we could also do the A minor scale. Let me see if I'm correct by doing this. Let me try my theory out. You click on this little square here, and then you right click and highlight the first two, hit control, and arrow down. Look at that. It did work. Now we have the A minor scale. So from the C major scale, you could go and do the A minor scale. And again, it's all white notes. So you go A, B, C, D. E, F, and G. Now I'm going to work with the A minor scale. <clears throat> so to work with the A minor scale, we're going to do a little staircase first, because from here we're going to start doing the chords. I'm going to show you how easy to do, how easy it is to do the, you know, the simple chords, the three, the three uh, note 
board. All right, so let's make a little staircase. So click here, B, C, C, D, E, F, and G. Now we need to erase these here. So to do that, if you uh, right click and hold, and see the little eraser there, just erase them. Now to make a chord, it's very simple. You take your root note, in this case it's A, you skip one white note, and then the third one, you put a note, and you skip the fourth, and then the fifth one, you put a note. You're gonna do this all the way up the scale. So skip one, note, skip four, fifth one is a note. Um, and then we're gonna take a listen to this. After I finish here. Let's, let's listen to this scale of chords. Not bad, right? Now from this scale of chords, we're gonna choose a chord progression. And this is just a simple way if you don't understand anything about chords or notes or any of that stuff. This is a, a simple method that I kind of came up with it myself and I kind of did it by accident, just you know playing around. So what I do is I eliminate the notes that I don't want to use and I keep the ones that I want to use. So to do that, again, you right click, the eraser comes up. I'm going to erase this one, two, and erase three, keeping four, keeping five, and then elim eliminating six. And this is going to be my chord progression. And what I do is I like to move them over uh, and put them on the thick white line here then it'll be you know nice little pattern so let's do the same thing highlight carry it over let's do the same thing for the last one highlight it and carry this one over now let's take a listen to this chord progression hmm. Doesn't sound bad, but we could do something to make it sound just a little bit better. What we're going to do is we're going to do what is called a chord inversion. So you click on the little square here, highlight the first note, control, arrow down. For this one, I'm going to do the same control, arrow down, highlight this one, control, arrow down, highlight this one, control, arrow down, highlight that one, and control, arrow down. Now, uh, with a chord inversion, this chord here is the same thing as the chord that was on top. We just took those ones and move it over. The reason to do this is to try to keep them, keep all these chords kind of near where your original chord was, or the first chord, your root chord, which is A, the number one. So then they all stay near. So if you were playing the piano, the actual piano, when you're moving your hands, all you got to do is move uh, your fingers a little bit. You don't have to try to go up and down the piano roll to try to play the chords. It's, they're all near each other. So anyways, let's take a listen to this now. Mm, I didn't like this one, so I'm going to bring this one down. Let's listen to it again. I like that one. Now, now that we finished doing this, I'm going to show you another little quote unquote trick that I kind of picked up. What you do is again, you highlight under the square. Now we're going to highlight and choose every single chord. Click on the pencil. And we're going to do what is called a uh, chord transpose. Transpose simply means that you're going to move this chord progression up and down the piano roll. So you can see everything is on white notes, but I'm going to be a little daredevil here, and I'm going to put it on a black note. Let's take a listen to this chord progression, see if it still sounds the same. It still sounds pretty good. So once you choose your chord, 
for your scale, and then from the scale you choose your your chords. Then from there, all you have to do is eliminate the ones you don't want to use, keeps the one that you want to use, and you build a chord progression from from there. And then you can do a chord transpose. You can put this anywhere up and down the piano roll, and it's still going to sound okay. And then you learn a little bit about uh, chord inversion, which is just taking the chord uh, or the note, moving moving in, moving it down or moving it up. And it's going to sound just a little bit different. Now to this, all you have to do now is add some kind of a drum loop. And it's the beginning, pretty much, of a beat. And that's how I go about making my beat. So let's drop this here. And then after this, you're just going to take a listen to this simple little beat. Okay, and you can work from this. You can you can keep on adding more stuff to it and make it sound much better. You know, add the kick and you add the snare, and then from here you add uh, the cymbal. You add some hi hats. You add some transitions, and you start building a beat from this. Let's take a listen. And this is just with whatever LMMS comes with. Um, if you start using different uh, VSTs, different sounds, it's, it's going to make a big difference on, on your beat. And if you know a little bit about making your chord progression, and then you know from there making melodies and, and doing uh, uh, your bass and your kick and all that, it's just going to make a fuller beat, a complete beat. Um, thank you uh, very much for watching. I hope this helped you out at least a little bit. And if it did, please leave a comment below and make sure that you hit that button like. Uh, you know, just remember this is this is just music. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Be yourself. And have fun. Thank you very much for watching. And have a blessed day.